Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm going to go over the planning and the details of the ride around Texas. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends. See the country into it. Lone Star Rider. This episode is brought to you by Aunt M's Illustrated Inn. If you want a great place to stay in San Saba, Texas, this bed and breakfast is awesome. You need to go check them out. Their website is down below and, and tell B that Lone Star Rider sent you. Awesome place. I've stayed there two or three times now. You'll love it. Great breakfast too. Awesome. I'm going to give you all a little bit of history here first, uh, how all of this came about. Uh, my son, Chris, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2003. In 2015, he blacked out while suffering a low blood sugar incident, and he died in a fiery car crash. <clears throat> Man, this is hard. Years have passed blaming myself and wondering if there was anything that I could do to prevent him from dying. And I came to the realization that there wasn't anything. In January of 2018, I had this vivid dream that I was riding all over the country on my motorcycle, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes. And the dream was so vivid, I was handing this $90,000 check to the American Diabetes Association. I thought this was a great idea, so I actually got partnered up with the American Diabetes Association, and I was on my way in June of 2018. I've been riding some type of uh, two-wheeled motorcycle ever since I was a kid. Anything from mini bike carts, dirt bikes. My first legal bike was a uh, enduro. They're calling they call them uh, adventure bikes now. Uh, it was a enduro 250 uh, Yamaha. And I remember working all summer to pay for it, 500 bucks. <laughs> that wouldn't happen now. And I've rode trips all over the country before, before I started this riding for a cure. And I've been wanting to do this ride that the Iron Butt Association has uh, on their website. I read this many years ago. That they, and they do this ride 3,100 miles around the Texas border. And they do it in less than 85 hours. Ain't no way that I'm going to do that. I've modified this ride, which is just a little under 5,000 miles. And there's over 300 stops. And those stops include historical, national and state parks, geocaches, and places that I just want to see. And also, I'll be meeting up with media along the, the route. Because my main focus on this is raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes. I'm going to take you to a map that's called uh, roadtripper.com. I use them to plan my trips. And I've got this split up in two parts. Because they only allow 150 waypoints on one trip. So there was more than 150 way trips. So I had to split this up. Now, as of this time of this recording, I had to stop anyway. And the, as far as I made it was all the way to Del Rio. And there's several different reasons I broke down on with my motorcycle and there's some other stuff, which Y'all will see, and if you go to Facebook and Instagram, you can see that stuff before all these videos come out. Because these videos are in more detail of my trip. And you see that I've got, on this particular map, I've got 119 waypoints on here. I don't have some of the uh, geocache waypoints on here. There are some and there are not. Uh, but I didn't put them all on here. But they will be in a list. If you want to see that list... It will be posted and you will be able to download that. Um, and everything that I talk about, there's links down below. And you're, you're able to see this map. 
So I've got all these places here. Um, Bonham State Park, uh, Sanders Cove, Paris uh, Wise House, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And if you go, we'll just scroll down a little bit more and you can see a couple of things here. Uh, there's a couple of uh, stores that are on here. Gators and Friends, I can tell you I didn't make that. Uh, let's see here. The Footprints in the Sand of Monuments was really cool. Uh, I just got things listed down here. And this is uh, part one of the ride around Texas. And you can see it's all the way around the Texas border. If we go to the second one here, you can see it starts back up in Del Rio and it goes all the way around back to Gainesville where I started. So this map you could use for planning out your trip. I planned this out. Uh, months and months and months ahead, uh, probably years, <laughs> yeah, years ahead of time to uh, get all this uh, figured out. And where I started was at the Iron Butt Association here, and you go to their ride around Texas, and they've got two different rides. They've got one that's less than 85 hours and one that's less than 70 hours. And they're, one's called The Insanity, and the other one's called The Insanity Gold. And it is insanity to do that. And there's people that have done that. Um, but they're doing it in less stops. Because I, I planned this out for 30 days. And it took me 30 days just to do half of this. So, y'all getting an idea that I have tons more stops and a lot more miles. Uh, their mileage on their map shows 3,100, and I've got almost 5,000 miles. Uh, I think about 300 miles less is what I've got tracked in. It'll probably be more than that when I'm done. So we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> and I'm hoping it's not going to take me another 30 days, but it might. So I'm going to plan on it. So that will be a total of 60 days to do my ride around Texas. Now we're looking at the uh, Iron Bud Association map here and they've got a map and they're stopping at all these cities and this is how I started my my planning out with this these cities that they're required to stop in and take photos in, in Texarkana they started there I started in Gainesville and I don't know if they require you to start in Texarkana or not if you're wanting to do their ride you have to join their association uh, authenticating your ride and you got to do a whole bunch of other stuff and I don't want to do that but you can see they've got 18 cities listed out that are around the state of Texas that you're required to go through and it goes down to Galveston through Nash, uh, Big Bend National Park, which I certainly will be doing that, all the way up to Kermit. I'll be hitting Kermit also. I'll be hitting every single one of these towns that they got listed here. And I've already hit all these towns here, Del Rio. So I've hit six of their, their locations. All right, so this is how I planned my trip out. I, I started with... Uh, I started with this list of maps here and I put those into the Road Tripper website. By the way, I think you only get 80 waypoints free. If you pay their $35 um, a year fee, they'll give you 150 waypoints. So I do pay, I do pay their uh, yearly fee of $35. And I think it's well worth it because this is a great planning site. I'm going to go to one more map and show you what I've been doing for years and years and years. And that is marking waypoints to things that I've seen. Watching television, reading magazines. I would mark it on the map. And I've been doing this in Google Maps because they let you mark places all over it, which is really cool. And you can make lists, which I really like that. And if we go to uh, uh, my places, let's see where that's at here. Sure, yeah, your places is what it's called. And it shows a, a list of all these places that I've got labeled and marked. Whoops. That I've got labeled and marked here. I have a ton. Minimize that and let's 
zoom out and you can see all my places I've got marked in the United States. <laughs> it's quite a bit. And some of these are public. You can see a lot of these um, that I've starred, marked, wanted to see. If you hover over them, you can see different ones uh, that I've just marked. I may go to them and I may not. I've also marked them that I've been there. Um, I haven't been there. Uh, a lot of them in Texas I have been at, and some of them I haven't. So uh, uh, let's see for an example uh, here. Lighthouse Lakes. I've been there. Um, this place here in Alabama that I marked. Uh, James Mansfield Shrine. I've been there. <laughs> All kinds of places. <laughs> lots and lots. Uh, let's see here. Caddo Lake State Park. I stopped there on my way going around Texas. Uh, beautiful park, by the way. Um, Monster Mart. Haven't been there. <laughs> uh, let's, I've been to some of these. Uh, haven't been to that one there. I've been to there, the world's tiniest skyscraper over there in Wichita Falls. Uh, Trek. Uh, truck Bed Ranch. This is one that I was reading about and I marked. I wanted to go to it. So this is how I do my planning. You, I mean, it's not real difficult, but it's time consuming. But to mark all these have been over years. Google Maps and you can make lists and you can do all kinds of neat stuff there. I think I'll uh, take that private off there. Some of these are private and some are not. I want to go. Uh, there's bridges that are public, Texas State Park are public. I need to make that one and this one uh, uh, public. Ghost towns, scenic spots, stuff like that. So you're kind of getting the drift on how I plan this. You know that I'm pulling a trailer. Well, some of you know. <laughs> um, I was pulling a teardrop trailer that was donated by um, Trailer Time uh, Inc. up in Willoughby, Ohio, and it was a great trailer. It was their uh, demo model, the very first prototype they built. That They pretty much donated a lot to me. It got to the point where I took that top off and built another trailer because it, it, it just got wore out after two years. So it was a, uh, a good trailer for that time. And I probably could have kept repairing it and kept using it, but the trailer I have now is a pop-up, and there is a list down below on the video on the trailer build if you want to watch that. Uh, it's a great trailer, weighs about the same as the other one, and uh, it pulls pretty much the same too. Uh, I use that trailer to sleep in most nights, and then I say most nights is because I'll get a hotel uh, once or twice a, a week just to uh, get out of the what I lovingly call the box. <laughs> I'm listing all these videos in episodes, and there's going to be a season one and a season two, or you can take it as part one and part two. I'm going to try to get these videos uploaded to Prime Video because they're allowing that to happen now. I just got to figure out how to get it up there. Um, have to strip all the YouTube stuff out there. If there's anybody out there that can help me with that, let me know in the comments below. There's another way you can follow me, and you can follow me and you'll know where I'm at within three to five minutes. I have a satellite spot um, that's with me all the time, and I'm, it's off the motorcycle right now because I'm changing the batteries out on it. But there's a, a link down below, and it will show where I am at within three to five minutes. There's a, another feature on this, which is a, called SOS. It's right there, it's right there. I've used it once when I laid the bike down in Death Valley with my daughter riding with me uh, back in 2009. That's when that happened. I uh, wasn't doing videos back then, uh, but I'll put the link down below to the blog post. Uh, anyway, when I pushed the 911, uh, the cavalry came. They were there within 30 minutes. Uh, 
So uh, this is their third version, and they've got a new one out that's a fourth their fourth version. I uh, don't have that one yet, but I will have it. Uh, I've had every one of them to spot one, two, three, and I'll have the four because this thing is a lifesaver. I wasn't dying or anything, but... <laughs> uh, and people go, are you crazy? Do you, you want people to know where you are? Uh, yes, I do. I want people to know where I'm at. I want them to come up and say hi to me. It's the whole idea of me writing. And also, my family knows where I'm at. And if I don't push the OK button every night, um, my sister might get concerned. <laughs> but anyway, you can find me on Spot, and I'll put that link down below. Uh, the other thing, too, is that I've got a, uh, a site called Spot Walla, and it shows the progress I'm going through on the on my rides or for the year or whatever I set up. And I've set up for the year, and I've also set up, well, actually, I've set up uh, um, the whole ride for Riding for a Cure, uh, but I have set up part one for the ride around Texas so you can see my progress going all the way around and where I've been. And I'll do the same thing for part two or season two. Guys, when you follow me on this trip, a really good way to do that is you follow my channels. I have uh, YouTube, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have Red Edit, I have Tumblr, I have Twitter. You can follow me on all those channels and all those channels links will be down below. And basically they're all started with Lone Star Rider, um, except for YouTube and it's Texas Lone Star Rider. I also have a blog. You can follow me on that blog. Um, I'm having a little problem learning the new blog that they have, so there's not a whole lot of posts there lately, but I'll be catching up with that. Uh, so you can follow me on all that stuff. And how to get notifications is on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. So you'll be able to keep up with me on that. Um, and the other thing that's going to help me keep me on the road when you do that is if you share my videos, you comment on them on Facebook, Instagram. If you can do all of them, <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. Um, YouTube pays me money. Not a whole lot, but they pay me a little bit of money, which helps pay for the gasoline. So it would be greatly appreciated if you did all that stuff. That all helps. Uh, now, for the Writing for a Cure part, there's a writingforacure.com, which takes in donations. Every bit of that money goes straight to the American Diabetes Association. It's a website that the American Diabetes Association set up for me to collect donations. They use 15% of that for overhead administration and stuff like that. The rest of it goes to research, helping people out, all kinds of stuff like that. That is the big reason I am hooked up with these guys because I want to get rid of diabetes. It's just a nasty disease we need to get rid of. And what I want is I want where nobody has to go through what I did because of the diabetes. Uh, nobody should lose their kids over this stuff. And I love writing and I love seeing new places and making new friends. And I would love for y'all to join me on this journey as I ride around Texas, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. And I know I'm going to see some incredible roads and meet some incredible people. So y'all join me on this journey of riding around Texas and beyond. <laughs> well, I love riding and I love going. And I love, well, this episode was... <laughs>